Hello and welcome to Making Waves by Totterbird. If you enjoy kit building, making electronic circuits, and do-it-yourself projects, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Vigor Time VT29. This is an ultrasonic suspension do-it-yourself kit. You can find it selling for $15.99 at Amazon USA. I'll have links down in the pay link section. It's a really good second kit. So if you built your first kit learning how to solder, you're looking for something else to have some fun with, this is one to jump into. If you want some more soldering experience, you may want to pick up their bicycle kit I reviewed recently. It has a lot more solder points than this one does. This one is proof of concept. A very cool thing about suspending little colorful beads using ultrasonics. Uh, there's not much to solder here, but it looks like a cool and fun kit at the same time. So I took everything out of the box. Let's see what we get. This side, we get a power supply, 12 volts, 1 amp, I believe. Yeah, 12 volts, 1 amp. Nice, because we're not going to be able to find one of those handy laying around. Next, we get a bunch of parts. We got those little colorful suspension beads, some brass standoffs, some PCBs with the surface mount components already installed for you. You just have a few through hole components to solder in, and you're ready to put together and have some fun. And we'll pull those out in a moment. Let's look at the directions. We get those. I love the directions because they're colorful. There's pictures. And you don't have to worry about a PDF file or anything. It's all right here. And their stuff's quality. I'll be honest with you. I like opening a kit like this and knowing it's going to go together nicely. So here we are. Bigger time. Instruction manual. There you go. You got a parts list. Some parameters. Some tools. Nice. Our principal overview, yeah, it uses reflecting waves from the ultrasonics to make standing waves. So you can suspend these little lightweight objects. They said you can even use pieces of paper. <laughs> this thing's cool. Hopefully I can demo this. This is going to be interesting how I demo it. There you go, schematic diagram. Zoom in on that. For the nerds who can understand that, yep. <laughs> I can read it. It's not super hard. Uh, there you go. So getting started with your kit on the back side here it has all the steps. I guess I'll do for posterity here. Let's see here. I can do this in order. Okay. So we have over here talking about good solder joints. Okay, so you have an LED, no polarity, pretty basic. Got some capacitors, electrolytic. Note capa uh, note the polarity here. Um, the capacitors have a negative. It has to go on that white bar usually. Shorter leg. There you are. It's a simple board. If you, as you see, there's not many components to solder to it. Or solder. Solder. If I was in England, I would say solder. But I'm in America, so I say solder. <laughs> uh, step five, installing the emitters. Open this over here. You can see the base. Putting on the standoffs. Very cool. Going over here, you can see their stacking these little brass pins. I think they're also conductors too, to conduct electricity for the top emitter. There you are, aligning them. Then finally, having fun. There it is. And if you have any questions, email them. They're very cool. They'll answer your emails. Okay, that's the instructions. So let's look at the parts real quick and then get to building this thing, huh? Yeah, should be pretty basic. All right, so I'm just gonna set this little board down and zoom down in. So we can take a closer look at these components. All right. Slide them out of the bag. Okay. So I'm look at the PCBs here right away. They're in bubble wrap. I guess everything's nicely packed, well made. All right, so there's our base, where everything's gonna be soldered to. DC jack, there's two capacitors. There's a third capacitor here too, a ceramic one, C3. A resistor, LED, uh, so I think it pretty much covers that board. <laughs> it's again very simple. This thing's gonna go together like in what five ten minutes if you're quick. Yeah, so there's that, and we got the two boards that hold the emitters. No polarity, and I notice in the instructions they tell you not to cut the leads, the component legs when you put them through, leave them alone. So I guess that's a thing. All right. And then of course we got the brass standoffs. I can just show those to you. You got four little ones and some different lengths there to build it up. For your suspension tower, 
We get some plastic tweezers. Yeah, non-conductive, I guess. That's a, a good thing to have. There you go. You can pick up anything and float it. Float it away. <laughs> um, here's the suspension beads. These are cool. They look like <laughs> if you sneeze, you'll be in trouble. They look very lightweight. Little, like, foam balls there. Wow, that's going to be fun. All right. And then for components, yeah, like I said, there's an LED, a couple capacitors, a resistor, and you're done. And the two emitters. Get those guys out of there. All right, so we got that. So here they are. So there's your resistor. High-quality one. Two little, two little uh, capacitors there, electrolytics, and like a ceramic disc capacitor, your DC input, your two emitters. Those are cool. I'll show them to you now because you probably won't see them once they're installed. And then we got the power LED indicator. So there it is. There's all the parts. Da, 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 da. Boom. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you some tools I'm going to use to put all this together. Then I'll go to probably... A couple pictures of the build process, and we'll go right into demoing this thing. So let's go ahead and slide these off. Bring in some tools I like to use. Oh, yeah. So I like to use diagonal pliers. I could pick these up on Amazon, I think. I don't know where I got these from. These are cheap. Made in China. Ours is made in Pakistan. What? Vigor. Okay. Made in Pakistan. Oh, that's a good, that's interesting. So there you are. That. What else do we use? Oh, we use. In case we make a mistake, get some desoldering braid. This stuff works fantastic. I recommend it. It's probably the best thing you could use. You put a little flux on the area, like some paste flux. Then you put this on top of the solder and your iron on top of this, and it sucks it right up. And you can take your component out. Works great. Good stuff. The solder I will use, not solder, but solder, rosin core, lead-based, uh, tin lead. You can see it's 60-40. There you go. Stuff's, it's thin. Uh, get the thinnest, uh, some of the thinnest you can get because it's, you don't need much. It's pretty thin there, as you can see. I don't know what the uh, diameter, do they give diameter right here? Yeah, almost a millimeter, 0. 0.8, 8 tenths of a millimeter. There you are. All right, cool. And then what else do I like to use? I got my little Phillips attaching those screws they had there. Let's see what else I have. Uh, some flush cut uh, diagonal. Uh, cutters so you get uh, nice uh, cuts when you cut your component legs just don't cut anything very hard like stainless steel so that works these work the best these are made in the usa zuron keep that in mind if you want to buy your tools made here in the states so there you are cutters in case i make a mistake i got my 10 power loop and i can use this to magnify stuff like ooh, can i see what's going on with that board <laughs> Yeah, this works really good. Nice thing to have. So we got that handy. And uh, last thing I like to use, my iron. Of course, the soldering iron I'm going to use is my variable temp. Heco, if I'm saying that right. Heco? Heco? <laughs> it's a, this is a high-end iron. You don't need one like this. 25-watt iron will be fine. With like a blade tip or a conical tip. Uh, there you are. This one here is... a. Uh, Model number is FX951, if you're wondering, my soldering station. They make a $100 one, uh, entry level. I think this is above the entry level, just one step up. It's got a neat little sleep function, so when you're on soldering, you can put it into the holder, and it puts it to sleep and lowers the temperature. So that's nice. Get off of the side. So there's the tools we're going to use. Awesome. One last look at the board, and then we'll go to some pictures of the build process and a final product. I'm we'll have fun trying to demo it. <laughs> That's always a good time. Vigor time. Always a good time. Yeah, that has a rhyme to it. I like it. So the reason why you're doing these is to, at the end of the day, build an awesome radio. Now there's radio kits out there, and there's do-it-yourselfers. Yeah, there's some cool forums out there where you can actually buy the DSP. You can actually buy the encoder, and you can learn how to build your own PCB. And you can build your own radio. Design it yourself. I think that's fantastic. And you can program it yourself using Arduinos. So yeah, very awesome. But this is going to be your pathway to victory, <laughs> to radio building. But there you are. There's the kit. And then when I come back, it'll be finished. So let's fade to black and come back with some pictures of the build process. Here are pictures of the build process. In this first picture, 
I populated the main board with one resistor, one ceramic disc capacitor, one power LED, no polarity, two electric lithic capacitors, no polarity, and the DC power jack. This final picture, I added the ultrasonic transmitter to each PCB plate. Notice the polarity here. The top of the T is the positive leg. It makes sure it's pointing to the T on the board and also aligns with the positive mark on the PCB. So let's look at the project. Here it is in front of us. Very easy to build. I love it. It's a great kit. Uh, had a good time with this one. Let's check it out. So the main PCB down there is where all the stuff goes through. You pretty much just have a few components. Uh, went very quickly. I think I built this in under 10 minutes. It was that fast. So you got your power LED, your simple resistor there, ceramic disc capacitor right behind it. Uh, you got your two electrolytic capacitors. You can see the negative side right there facing towards me. Orientation. There you go. Negative polarity. Actually going down to the text there. Nice. So yeah, pretty cool setup. Uh, the surface mount components, there's a microcontroller, and you can see that in the instructions. Uh, there's also a uh, line voltage corrector here, amplifier, uh, just some neat stuff going on. So yeah, and then of course our DC input right here. Uh, they say to use extra solder, which I did on the bottom there, you can see. We got our brass standoffs, went together fairly easy. They tell you when you install these ultrasonic transmitters to make sure you don't cut the legs. I thought it might be a problem, but it doesn't seem to interfere with anything on the bottom of the board there. As you can see, it's not touching anything. So that's good. So you leave those legs alone. They don't want you uh, trimming those off. Here's the top of the project. The v VT29. I can say it, right? <laughs> Figure time. Fun project. Fun time. This thing's cool. Yeah, you're going to see it in action here in a second. Uh, I did a demo video. I actually filmed the whole video before this, me talking and me doing the demo. And I found out that ultrasonics and microphones, they don't like each other. Even though your ears can't hear it, the microphone can. <laughs> and it messes up the audio big time. So I'll probably have a little demo playing with music as I levitate the little foam beads. So yeah, those are, those are pretty cool. You get a big bag of them here. So if you lose some, no big deal. If you, you can also, if you misplace these, you can use a little... Uh, scraps of paper it said so I didn't try that I just used these it was a lot of fun you can levitate a bunch of them together and if you spin them I just tried to levitate them because yeah they don't always stack nicely <laughs> so they have a mind of their own sometimes but fun enjoyable so yeah let's uh, head over to that uh, demo video watch that for a little bit we'll come back and do final thoughts so let me set this guy down all right yeah let's go check out that video Well, I hope you enjoyed that demo. I had fun making it. First time I've actually filmed in a vertical format, possibly. Uh, maybe I did with solar panels, I can't remember, but typically I don't film in the vertical format. So that was fun. Uh, you got to see him go suspension like that, me messing around with it. Uh, overall, this kit gets a recommended a vote for me. $15.99 is a lot of fun to be had here. Uh, very simple to put together. Definitely a second kit to your first kit, which should be the Elenco uh, starter kit 
which includes a soldering iron, solder, different wire cutters, all kinds of fun tools you'll need for projects like this. So check out that in the iCard section. And if you're ready to move on to something else or you want more solder practice, I have some options for you. Uh, let me just move this out of the way for a moment. Um, I just want to show you kind of the fun you're going to have. So if you want some more solder practice, I recommend the VT18 by Vigortime. It's a LED kit. It's pretty cool. It's animated wheels. And there's a lot of solder points here, as you can see. Uh, this will give you a lot of practice. So if you're looking for soldering practice, uh, this is the way to go. And I think the kit's very inexpensive at around 10 bucks. So you get a $10 kit, have a little fun, especially if you're into bikes or a cyclist. It's perfect. Have it sitting on the shelf, turn it on one night, hang out, chill with it, <laughs> play with some music, you know, with your radios going. You know it. And speaking of radio, now you might do this kit and you might do this suspension kit and you're like, yeah, I'm having fun, Tyler Burt. Now, when do I get to build my radio? Well, if you can do these two kits, you can build a radio. So I recommend your first radio should be this guy right here. Yeah, this is awesome. It's an AM FM Vigor Time Radio Stereo. Yeah, like it. Let me just zoom this back up a little bit so we can see the whole thing in frame. That'd be nice. It uh, tunes really well. I'm really impressed with this uh, kit. And uh, yeah, I'll have links in the iCard section as well for this one. Um, just a fantastic build. Got the battery compartment on the back here. There's the little uh, DSP chip. It's a radio on a chip there. Um, it has a lot of capability. You can actually expand on this board if you have some technical skills. You can actually build your own switch system and access the shortwave bands on that. Uh, it has them. So that's actually interesting to note. Um, so yeah, there you go. So back to the front. Yeah, this is the VT16. I was looking for the mile number. <laughs> but uh, great radio kit. Even has a built-in handle. Uh, has good FM reception. And yeah, it has this uh, AM fair right around the front. And it sounds great. It's uh, a good tuner. So enjoyable. So And then if you want something made in the USA, you can. Uh, this is still available. I hope it is. The Marania One Transistor Radio Kit. Yeah, made in USA. This thing's cool. It's definitely a do-it-yourselfer. Uh, this is a very interesting design and a lot of fun to build. It's not your best receiver, but it's a fun receiver. And you learn quite a bit by building this one. So the Marania Kit, if I remember, I'll include this in the art card section. If not, search Totterbert Marania. You'll see me playing around with this radio. So just a fun kit to build as well. So... Gotta, gotta get a plug for the Made in the USA stuff as well. So you guys go, hey, where's the USA stuff? Well, there you go. So here it is, the VT29 Ultrasonic Suspension Do-It-Yourself Kit. It gets a recommended upvote. Hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, give a big like. If you like this project, give a big like. Uh, two, if you like Vigor Time products and you want to see more, me building them, put them together, subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos. And three, comment below what you think about the suspension kit. Is it fun? Is it like a second or third kit you'd pick up for messing around with? I actually think it's a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, it's very simple to build. It's probably the quickest build I've ever done. And it went together so easily. It's brass standoffs, thread on really easy. And it's, yeah, it's fun to suspend a little foam ball. It's kind of relaxing. Get a little music playing, kick back. Uh, you know, if you've got kids that really like this one, you know, seeing stuff levitate, like defying gravity, is pretty cool. So, yeah. And, and there's no sound. So you're, there's no sound or air or anything like that. So it's kind of neat how, how it works. So there you go. Bigger time. Fun project, fun time. There you are. So, yeah, comment below if you're going to be picking this one up. Or if you're going to be thinking about, like, something different, like an LED kit or the VT16 I showed you. You're going to be picking up something like that. Get yourself a radio kit and have some fun. That's what it's about. Building radios next. You know it. Alrighty, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you in my next video.